Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to Enshrouded. This is a brand new survival action RPG that just came out today on Steam. We are Flameborn, the last ember of hope for a dying race. We just woke up out of our egg thing there, or whatever. And now we have to go survive the terror of a corrupting fog, or shroud. The shroud has taken over our land and we have to go do something about it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now this is my first time playing the game. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out on the opportunity to play the demo, but thank you to Keen Games for granting me early access to the game so I can bring you guys gameplay on release day. Let's communicate with the flame. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world to construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay, we need to reach the plains. I guess we can check out our journal. Uh, let's go over to quests. Claim a spot for your base. Okay, we need to um, craft a flame altar and put that down, I guess, uh, in this area. That'll be our first base, and then after that, I'm sure we can build wherever we want. It's a voxel world. You can actually dig underground and build an underground base if you want to be a hermit, which... I like that idea a lot. Beautiful game, that's for sure. What do we got here? A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press J and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Okay. I guess we can just press M, though. J usually takes you to your journal. We just press M to access the map. All discovered recipes for the crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you find the requirements and ingredients for each recipe. You can pin recipes to get a notification once you've collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. So that's how crafting works. We'll get to this. We need stone. Five stone to make the flame altar. We start with nothing uh, except our little shorts here which unfortunately have no physical or magical resistance. So that's going to be a problem if we run into uh, some bad guys. Here's our um, skill tree. We got nothing to spend there, so we won't worry about that right now. What is this? On the flame and its murmurs. So this is part of the lore, which I'm not going to get into here. If you play the game, that's something you might want to look into. Me? I'm not the reading type of guy. I'm kidding. Uh, you know, that's something I would maybe get into and, and read on my own time, but I'm not going to bore the shit out of you guys with it. Let's see. Can we start getting wood by punching these trees? Uh, maybe, but I don't think that's a very efficient way to do it. Look at this chest. Oh, kick that bitch open. We got a torch and a bandage. And those look like more bandages. Yep. Gonna set this shit on fire. No, but I can break it down and take stuff. Oh, I just unlocked the shield by picking up some wood logs. Alright, let's keep it moving. Uh, it definitely has a bit of a Valheim vibe to it. I'm sure a lot of people will compare it to that game, especially since they're both voxel worlds. Uh, they both include punishing bosses, as they say on Steam. Uh, it is up to 16 player co-op, so if you have 15 friends, all you guys can play at the same time. Me, I'm just gonna play by myself because all my friends have real jobs and don't play video games anymore because they're fucking losers. Alright, uh, terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. I don't have any tools other than this torch, so I guess we're gonna use these exploding balls here. Think I'm far enough away? Let's find out. Yeah, that's fine. This stupid... text. Get out of the way. I fucking read you already. Oh, another chest. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Hatchet. Now we got a tool. Let's, uh... rearrange things here. That's good. What do we got here? More lore? Ode to the Pike Mead. Alright, add it to the pile. Um, 
This is the way to go. Oh, what's that? Something hidden behind there. Another chest. Another torch, and another bandage. All right. Let's uh, get rid of this one. Bring this one here. And I guess we should have a torch out in a dark cave. Uh, I remember watching Neebs Gaming play this, and Neebs was a little um, annoyed with the placement of the stamina circle. I don't think it's that bad. I'd rather it there than above my character's head, I think. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. I'm assuming that's the shroud down below. Can I harvest this? No. But yeah, I don't mind the stamina circle. I mean, I guess they could move it down a little bit, put it by the, the tool belt. Alright, we are enshrouded, and we've got five minutes to get out of the shroud, otherwise we will perish. I don't know if you die immediately, or if you just start losing health at that point. Press tab to lock onto your foes, press control to dodge out of harm's way. Well, I've already figured out the control part. What's this? Bam! I'm on fire. Oh, no. I didn't lose any health. All right. I don't know what that was all about. But here is a foe. Oh, that wasn't bad. Wrecked that guy with a torch. Shroud spores and torn cloth. Here's a couple more. Oh, well, that's easy. Shroud spores, torn cloth. Shroud spores, torn cloth. I also noticed we unlocked the bandage and some other recipes. We'll go through all that stuff later. Any loot in here? I should probably be using my hatchet. Wood logs and twigs. Let's check this stuff. Oh, I got a stone. I unlocked the construction hammer and two more things, which, like I said, we'll check out later. Rough stone block. Gotta make that at the workbench, it looks like. Uh, if you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. I'm assuming that red light up ahead is where we're supposed to build our base. Look at this here, though. Long keep. Did that go on the map? Yes, it did. Long keep. Right by our... First home. And we leveled up. We get some skill points from that. Yep, yeah, two of them. I'd like to go the way of the assassin. Unlock sneak attack, but that requires three. And we only have two. We could unlock the merciless attack. I can't zoom out. Oh, I can click and drag, though. I think I'll just hold on to those two points for now. Let's see, uh... What we got around the long keep before we head over to the base location and build our flame altar. And I guess start building our base, goat! Come here, goat! Nice. What do we get from you? Animal fur and some meat. Wood logs and metal scraps. And we just unlocked the lockpick recipe. More wood logs. More wood logs. Pick up the wood. Oh, look at this. I just found a secret. Another chest. With one bandage. Give me that wood. Oh. Well, I guess it wasn't much of a secret. Pretty obvious door, and it does say open. <laughs> I really didn't discover anything there. Let's break up all this shit. Oh, there's something new. String. Oh, we just unlocked the wand. We got some bones. Do it! Rat! Another one. Fur and some meat. Yeah, I'll eat a rat. I'm not above that. Look at me and my little cloth shorts. I'll do anything to survive. I don't know if we should be pushing down this way or not. Um, 
Oh, this just opens up again. Maybe we should just head over to the base location. See if we can maybe make some clothes and stuff. Yeah, it's enshrouded down there. Let's not go that way. There's a well. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Scoop water. Oh, I'm picking it up in like little little pouches. Okay, I just keep scooping it then. Oh, that's convenient. That's nice to have right near our house. Plant fiber. Come here. Look like a little bunny. Got some meat, more animal fur. More string, wood. Get a bunch of cloth from that stuff. More metal scraps. I can't can't take any of those weapons. Alright, we gotta get more stone in order to build this flame altar. There's a mushroom. Here's some stone. I mine it with the hatchet. Probably not the most efficient way to do it. Ah, oh, one stone flew out there. Can I pick this one up? Oh, that was three. That should be enough. Because I picked uh, one stone up before. We only need five for the altar. Okay. Craft. It's in our inventory. We actually have two tool belts. If we press Alt, we can see our second one. And there is the flame altar. See if we can get this all on flat ground here. That looks pretty good. Uh, not enough free space. There we go. Commune with the flame. What's up, flame? You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby just outside of the shroud's grasp. We can upgrade the altar, extends its building range. We need a shroud core to do that. Upgrades it quite a lot. Doubles it, actually. Strengthen the flame. So we can upgrade it. We need a bunch of materials to do that. We can reset our skill points. We need ten ruins to do that. And we can extinguish the flame, which removes your flame altar. Beware, areas that are not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud, and placed items will be lost. Well, I'm not going to extinguish the flame. I just put it down. So that's the direction we're supposed to head over here and find the sleeping survivor. All right. Well, I think I want to do a little bit of base work first. Maybe see if I can build myself a shirt, some shoes, decent weapon. Let's start with the workbench. Oh, nice. We can pick it up if we want to move it. That's that's perfect. Uh, construction hammer. We're going to need one of those. And we're going to need some blocks. Wood is probably... Well, I mean, we got more wood than we do stone. But I think if we're going to build, we might as well build out of stone, right? Yeah. Let's do it. We made, just made a hundred stone blocks. How far is that going to get us? Probably not far at all. Select the shape you want to build with. Select the material you want to build with. Open the submenu to select from different shape categories. Oh look, we can make a little stone foundation. Why can't I select 4M? I scroll right past it. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we don't have enough stone blocks to build that thing. So we need to go get more stone and make more stone blocks. But we should make pickaxe first. Is that in our personal crafting menu? Yes, pickaxe. We need a stone. Let's go get one. Just gonna build around our altar here. Let's pick up the workbench. Whoops. There we go. And we'll put it back down on the stone foundation. Got ourselves a bed now. We need twigs in order to make some storage. So let's chop down this little tree here and see if we get twigs from it. It's a little awkward with the attack. I wish there was a different, like, animation for harvesting versus attacking, you know what I mean? All right, let's cook up some of this meat we have. Place food in your action bar, select it, and press left mouse button to cook. Let's bring it down here. Look at that. That's nifty. Oh, is it done? Oh, shit. I burnt it. I made tar. <laughs> okay. So after the first sizzle, it must be done. There we go. And it's done. Let's cook another one. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, that increased our health bar a bunch. So there's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of grinding for resources here, but that's what you get when you play a survival crafting game. That's part of it. And then you get to build whatever you want, wherever you want. Well, except for our first base, we're kind of constricted to this area right here, but it makes sense to build right here. Look, we can just dig right into the ground. Let's try it here. We're getting dirt and a little bit of stone. That is cool. From what I understand, we can just keep going. And like I said earlier, we can build underground if we want to. Pretty wild. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, it's a trade-off. You gotta grind for resources, but then on the other hand, you get to build a base anywhere you want. So, um, it's a give and a take kind of deal. You know, if you want just an RPG with the story and all that, and you don't want to grind for resources, then you, you gotta go for just a regular old action RPG game. But that's not what this is. This is uh, survival also. The survival elements don't seem to be um, very heavy in terms of food and water. Water just replenishes your stamina. And food... Uh, if you eat good food, like the piece of meat we ate, bumped up our health, but there's really not a hunger bar. So, like, food and water buff your stats. They, it's not like you have to keep up with a hunger and a thirst bar, you know? There we go. Just trying to make a way up here so I can harvest this stone. Okay, that's a start. Uh, let's put down another storage box so we have plenty of storage here. We need three string, which we craft from our personal crafting menu. There we go. Bam. Let's cook a little food, and then I'm going to craft a club and a shield, and we'll head on out. We'll travel through the shroud, try and find that sleeping survivor. We got a bridge up here. Braylon Bridge. New location charted. Uh, let's equip that shield that I crafted, and I made a club as well, so we can better defend ourselves. Can we grab this spear? No, but I did see something pop up over here. Ah, arrows. 
There's another one. Couple more. Nice. Let's check these tents out. What do we got? More lore? Captain's Journal, Day 6. I'm sure Captain's doing fine. We don't gotta read that. Hey, wooden arrows and flint arrows. Uh, I guess I should have made a bow, huh? Well, we only need twigs and string, which we can make string out of plant fiber, so we can actually go craft a bow right now if we want. We already got ammo for it. You can't proceed without a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Well, I mean, it does say travel through the shroud, so I guess... We gotta go this way. There's some more lore we're not gonna read. Might as well collect it, though. Captain's Journal, Day 20. More arrows, another bandage, another torch. There's some string right there. Now all we need is twigs. Looks like we got a little camp down here in the shroud. Enemy. Nice. Shroud spores and a sigil ring of the Elder Guard. Um... Can we equip that? Yep. And that increases our stamina and our health. Nice. What do we got here? This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. All right, well, let's not get it yet then. There's some more string. What is this big ass thing? Should I attack it? Probably not, right? I'm gonna anyway. Okay. That was a mistake. Shroud spores, torn cloth, and ten ruins. Which, that's exactly what we need to reset our skill points if we ever want to do that. String. Fireball one. Staff charges. Looks like we need a staff in order to use that. Alright, let's uh, get some cloth from these uh, bales here. I probably should be using my hatchet for this. The club doesn't really break items down as quickly as the hatchet does. Let's get this uh, capsule and keep it moving. We can harvest these for shroud liquid. Well, this game just took an odd turn. Nobody watch, I need privacy. Oh, what did we just get? Flintstone. We can make rough flintstone blocks now. Well, I'm not going to make flintstone blocks when I can make regular stone blocks. Unless we can find an abundance of flintstone. Yeah, we better check under the stairs first. You always got to check under the stairs. Nothing under the stairs. All right, let's go up the stairs. Going up. And we are out of the shroud. Don't got to worry about that anymore. There's another Flintstone. Alright. Going this way. But first, what's this? Oh, it's a campfire. Oh, let's see what we got going on in here. More lore! Alright, that should be enough twigs. There we go. Got ourselves a bow. We got movement on the bridge. Let's try out our new bow. Oh, shit. That guy's got a huge crossbow. All right, let's go back to the club and rush this dude. Yeah, that worked out better. Nice crossbow, buddy. Can I have that? And just some metal scraps? I guess I'm going to have to craft my own. Anything on this side of the bridge we might want? Looks like there's something up here. Water, string, and cloth. Oh, got some traps. We can disarm them. Probably best that we do that. We're getting close. Hey, look, that looks like the egg thing I came out of. What's that say? 
Bushes can conceal you when you're within them. Press C to crouch. And bees! All right, bees, you want to chase me? Well, then I'm going to harvest your nest. How you like that? Huh? Fuck you. Oh, the bees are attacking that guy. My bad, bees. I, I overreacted. I have an anger problem. Uh. Oh, he's dizzy. Now's my chance. Got him. What you got for me? Metal scraps and torn cloth. Can't believe I'm out here fighting guys in full armor with my cloth pajama shorts. Oh, we got some more lore up here. Let's get it so I cannot read it. Eureka! Sometimes the lore adds locations to the map, though, so even if you're not going to read it, you always want to get it. Let's destroy everything and see what we can find. No, I don't want the book. Yeah, I need armor and better weapons. Hopefully whatever uh, survivor we find will help us craft just that. What do we got over here? Well, that was my bad. I guess I should have tried shooting that with my bow first before I got, you know, so eager to just attack it. Oh, the ancient vault of the blacksmith. Is that who the survivor is going to be? Oh, I could use a blacksmith, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not a fan of the bow, really. I mean, it'd probably be nice for animals and such, but I don't know. Right now, I prefer melee. You got nothing for me? Oh, there we go. Metal and animal fur. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey, except not really bakey. There's goats we can eat. You gonna come out of there? Where is he? Uh, let's see. You retrieve the survivor, place them in your home with a summoning staff. Okay. We need to craft a summoning staff. That's just a regular staff. Maybe the summoning staff uh, we have to craft out of the workbench. Oh, no, here it is. Just some twigs. Bam. That was easy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to my home. What's your home? Now as well. Man, you are jacked. What's your secret? A lot of protein? Carno diet? Tell me. I need to know. Where there's fire, there's hope. Uh, well, let's go to craft and see. Forge. We need some stone and charcoal. Um, charcoal kiln. We just need stone for it. I guess we'll craft that first so we can get the charcoal we need for the forge. Got an axe, pickaxe, lock picks. One-handed weapons. Ooh, spiked club. Armor. Nice. That's what we need. Armor, baby. Dishes? <laughs> what do we mean dishes for? We could just eat on, out of our hands. Do we really need a, a dinnerware set? Um, well, I guess let's take a look at this real quick. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you Flameborn? Hey, chill, buddy. Cleansing fire. Um... All right, so this guy is giving me um, quests to do. Well rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. All right, well, I'm, gonna, I'm working on the roof. You know, I put the floor in first. I'm going to get there. Take it easy. All right, um, the armor I crafted. Where's that? Oh, the helmet? That's it? Just a helmet? Man, I look like a douche, kind of. <laughs> what about the rest of the armor? I thought, I thought I was crafting a whole set. I guess I just crafted the helmet. Here, set. Oh! Here are the other pieces up here. I need more animal fur for the chest piece. I can craft the gloves and the pants and the shoes, though. There we go. I need... String and animal fur to craft the rest of the armor. We can make the string. 
And I got more animal fur in storage here. Oh, that's plenty. Put these on, put those on. Okay, now we just need the chest piece and the pants. There we go. Full set of armor. Fur armor. And it's a start. Definitely better than uh, our cotton shorts. Clear the elixir well. The elixir well is an overgrown pit spitting corruption and fumes into the air from below. Enter the elixir well to find the root of this evil and eradicate it. So that is the uh, quest he wants us to do. And the other thing he wants us to do is forge a weapon. Well, before I do anything else, I'm going to spend the night grinding for stone, and then I'm going to slap together just the basic bitch base, you know, just throw up the walls and the roof, because like uh, the blacksmith said, with the roof over our heads, uh, we should be better rested and uh, maybe get a buff from doing that. So let's, uh, let me do some grinding, and we'll put together a basic structure here. All right, there are the walls and a couple of doorways on either side. Let's put some stairs in because I want to make a second story here. Probably no need to do this because it's just our first little base, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, put that in. That'll be our ceiling slash floor for the second story. I'm going to leave an opening in the center, though. For the flame, I don't think that's necessary, but it might be cool to have a little skylight in the middle. Yeah, and we'll leave that open for now. I mean, we could always fill it in if we want, but what the hell. Oh, shit. No, I can't pick it up. Well, I mean, it works. <laughs> oh, I just saw something. There we go. Oh, nice. We can pick things up if we misplace them like I just did. This is cool as shit, though. Listen to this. Can you hear the difference there? There's like an echo now. The sound has changed inside the base. I wonder if that's going to change again when we start filling it up with stuff. Dude, it's a sick game. I'm really enjoying it. It looks amazing. It seems like a really well put together adventure RPG, but with the survival elements and the ability to craft and build whatever you want. I mean, you could sink so many hours into this game. I can already tell. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to put down some more storage and then grind for more resources and put them away so I have them when I need them. And then we'll just see how this video does. If it does well and you guys want to see more of this game, then I will take you all along on the next adventure, which is going to be the Elixir Well. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around and I will catch you in the next video.